Salut tout le monde! Je, je reçu un package. I don't know how to say package. Un, une chose. Merci à le courrier pour mon boîte. Ma boîte. Et c'est moi. C'est moi. Ma, ma, ma. Oh! Merde. Alors, il y a beaucoup de livres dans ce, ce, cette boîte. On y va? Oui. Dane reads. So, French book haul. I bought a job lot on eBay. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's all the packaging. What's this? Thank you for supporting St. Nicholas Hospice. We hope you are happy with the purchase. If you do not have any issues or concerns with the item, please do not hesitate to contact us so we can resolve these before we leave feedback. I'm sure it'll be fine. I, I just bought a load of... It's a job lot of books. This video is already a car crash. You always know it's going to be a shit video when I start trying to speak French. Ow! I got my arm. got my arm hair. Okay. Oh! Alright, we're in. Almost. Okay, so I have absolutely no idea what's in this box. I just know it's a lot of French books. Um, oh, and one fell out, didn't it? Yeah, this one fell out. So we're going to go through and have a, a little... I mean, I'll either do this as part of my main haul video or I might just do a special haul for this. So we have Point de Depart, uh, Everyday Situations for French Roleplay by Tom Swallow. So I think the idea of this one is it gives you little prompts to talk about. So like, look, Accident de la Rue Casse d'Argence. You had better practice what is in this chapter, but we hope you will not need it. Here are a few pointers if you have a road accident in France. Don't argue or become aggressive. Don't admit any fault. Hello, jeune homme. Qu'est-ce qui se passe? That's somebody saying, Hello, young man. What happened? Bon, il y a eu un accident. Je roule vers le boulevard de Lys. Soudain, une voiture est sortie du boulevard Alphonse Dordé, là à droite. J'ai freiné. Le moto a dérapé et j'ai tamponné la voiture là. Je n'ai pas pu m'arrêter. Okay, so that means, yes, there's been an accident. Um, I was driving towards the boulevard de Lys. Suddenly, a car left uh, the boulevard Alphonse Dordé there on the right. I don't know what j'ai freiné means. Uh, the moto, the car has something. And I have tamponed the car. Is it going to tell me what tampon means? Because I'm curious. Hey Google, what does tampon mean in English? Tampon has three different meanings. No, oh. Starting with the most common one, tampon can be used as a noun to mean a plug of soft material inserted into the vagina to absorb menstrual blood. Is that the meaning you had in mind? No, I wondered what. The French word tampon meant. I know what the English word tampon means. In French, that's tampon. What else should I translate? <sighs> Merci, never mind. Derrière. Right, what else we got? David Spray. Pardon. Sorry. Oh, you're translating everything I say now. Non, vous traduisez avoir mon mot à dire maintenant. Sure, I'll stop translating. Okay, so this is David Sprake Communique. Uh, a book of practice material for pupils preparing for the CSE or 16 plus uh, examination in French. Uh, so there's lots of exercises and stuff. I probably won't read these ones. Uh, Oh, that's my reminder going. Um, I'm more looking for sort of stories and stuff. What have we got here? Rosa Martin and Martin Ellis. Iga, por favor. Listening and speaking activities for Spanish GCSE. Yeah, that's not French. What have we got? Vrai de vrai. Authentic French for listening and reading comprehension by Kate Beeching. Hmm. Oh, it's lots of... Nah. We're good. I'll tell you when I find one that I'm going to keep. A la carte, niveau moyen. Okay, so that means like menu, medium level. Yeah, so these are mostly seem to be exercise books and stuff, which isn't really what I want. I want some I want some stories, really. What's this? French for starters, Edith Bear and Celia Weber. Yeah. Calcum uh, Mo, mixed skill tasks for GCSE and standard grade by Ina Fowler. 
This Way for French by Terry Hawkin. My, some of these are so old as well. Right, anyway. What we got here? Uh, La Boite aux Lettres by Walton and Jenkins. Uh, the Box of Letters. Oh, this is all about writing letters in French. Port Ouvert, task-based skills practice for GCSE and standard grade by Tony May, Alan Prophet, and Helen Silverstone. I've just realized I've got to find a way to get all of these on my shelves. I don't have any space. Amitié, letter writing practice by Ina Fowler. Passport pour le Français de Macmillan Modern Languages by Joan Clark and Derek Utley, I guess. Allo, allo. French role play exercises to GCSE by Ina Fowler. Give me some stories. Are these just all exercise books? Passport pour le Français 1 by uh, Joan Clark and Derek Utley. Simulations Etoile, Mission Planet Kisse, Problem de Memoir, Tra Repa by Gillian Taylor and David Edwards. This looks a little more interesting. Oh, but this is supposed to come with a tape, a cassette tape. But it's, I guess it's slightly more interesting. What else we've got? There's loads of these. En Direct, Communication Skills for GCSE French by Jean-Claude Gilles. What does that say? Amitié, CSE and O-level letter writing course by Ina Fowler. That gives you an idea of how old this is, because when I was at school, which was 15 years ago, uh, the CSEs had been already been phased out. Le Bois aux Lettres by Tony Welton and Daphne Jenkins. So we had that one already. Oh my God, this actually does look quite good. Easy French Grammar Puzzles by Ardarussi de Salle. Uh, so it's 30 crossword puzzles to learn and practice French grammar and improve your vocabulary. Oh my lord. Okay. Let's have a look, see if I can figure any of these out. Okay. One across. Avant le déjeuner ou le dinner, on dit... Well, that's bon appétit. I can get that one. Okay, so one down is two letters. Il est, dang il est dangereux de conduire un auto après avoir de trop d'alcool. Okay. Well, that's it. Actually, you might be able to do this one. Right. Let's start writing this out. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, boo. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh... Uh, il est dangereux de conduire un auto après avoir bu trop d'alcool. Okay. Uh, number two, number four across. Après être entré dans une pièce, il est poli de fermer la porte. Right? F E R yeah. Fermer la porte. That means after entering a room, it's polite to close the door. Four down. Quatre, quatre down. <laughs> Note the musique. Quatrième degré de la gamme de do. Okay, far. Well, I'm not going to bore you by doing the whole thing on video, but we're doing all right here. We're doing all right. We've filled some out. I'm excited. That's a good one. That's a keep one. Uh, oh my God. French Sign Language, M.R. Pierce and D.L. Ellis. I'm never going to... Oh, it's about actual street signs. I thought it meant like, you know... West Said and stuff. Conversations, Situations by Gillian Taylor. Or Gillian, I don't know if it's a soft or a hard G. Herbs Antica by Paul Whelan. Themes in Latin literature. And something's fallen out of this one. This, oh my lord, what is this? Something typewritten. That's pretty cool. There's an inspection receipt from somebody who I guess has ordered some of these to uh, the Sir Harry Smith Community College. Um, again, I'm not really sure why this is French though. What else have we got? Multa per Gante by Paul Whelan. That's again, themes in Latin literature. I don't, I don't do Latin, mate, I do French. A la carte, niveau élémentaire. So this is the uh, beginner's level of that a la carte thing. By, it doesn't say. Uh, Terry Hawkin, this way for French, de. Modular French for work. Allez, bienvenue, Julia Batters and Annalie McLachlan. Oh, we've got some more. Allez, au centre de loisirs by Julia Batters and Annalie McLachlan. That's at the leisure centre. 
Terry Hawkin, this way for French, duh. We have this twice. Imperium e Savita by Patricia E. Bell, themes in Latin literature. Tupal, Communicative Activities in French, book A by V. Harris and Liz Roselman. We've got some more of these alleys. Let's see which ones we've got. We've got Le Transport, Les Voyages, so transports and holidays. Au Centre Commercial, so at the commercial centre, I guess at the mall or whatever. A l'hôtel au camping, at the hotel or a camping. A l'office de tourism, at uh, the tourist office. Au café, au bar, au restaurant. You can figure that out for yourself. Imagate <laughs> by Michael Zollo. Uh, this is about Spain though, again. Uh, Ia Por Favor by Rosa Martin and Martin Ellis. Again, Spanish that one. Etoile On by Gillian Taylor and David Edwards. I mean, it does have some cartoon, a lot of cartoons in it and stuff. I mean, I might actually keep this one because it has enough cartoons in it, you know? Keep me interested. Jeu de communication. Jeu et activité pour les élèves de français. So, uh, communication games, games and activities for students of French. Oh, Lord. Et toi, un. Departmental resource file, photocopy masters. This is blatantly that some teachers had this, isn't it? Unolog analogy. Oh my god, it is basically. It is. This is worksheets. Oh my god. That's kind of cool. The aliment. The sport. You gotta try and. This actually takes me back to my school days. You get like printouts, photocopied sheets like these in your, your lessons. So if I know anybody who speak, is who's actually teaching French, this could be cool. But I don't really want that. Okay. So out of all of that massive box, all I'm keeping is the Easy French Grammar Puzzles, which technically isn't a book anyway. I'll keep this by my bed and do some at night. Um, that'll be fun. And uh, this, which is Etoile Un, um, the BBC book or whatever. So students book, teachers file. Got ya! So this is part of a set uh, that came with the students book, which I guess is this. The teacher's file, which is that big folder. Departmental resource file, don't know where that is. Audio cassettes, which we don't have. Simulations, Mission Planet Kise, which is um, that thing we found down there. And a BBC Schools television series, Khan's Minute. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna read this. But that's pretty cool. Okay, so after all that, these are the two I'm keeping. Those are the ones that are going on eBay. As always, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you speak any French. Try and speak some French to me. I'll, I'll see if I can understand. It might be difficult. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. Le bouton d'ab... What's it? What's subscribe again? Abonné. Le bouton d'abonné. Et uh, merci beaucoup. Je te revois dans une autre vidéo. Au revoir.